One more note on routing. In IPv4, we have three network ranges that are for private use only, meaning they're not routable on the public internet. The way this works is, let's say at home I have a phone, a computer, a laptop, other devices, but for my ISP, I only get one public IP address because there's, quite a, there's a shortage of them. As I mentioned before, we're running out of them. So my ISP gives me one IP address, and then internally I use a lot of these private IP addresses. And then a process called NAT, or Network Address trans Translation, takes these addresses as they exit my house, exit my router, and converts them into this external IP address. And as the traffic comes back, it converts them back to the correct internal IP address. One thing to be aware of is if you want to host any services on the internet, you need a public IP address. Even the cheap home routers, like the Linksys routers, the Netgear routers, etc., have the ability to say a certain port coming into my public IP address will get routed to a specific address internally. So for example, if on your workstation you wanted to host a web server, you could say any traffic destined for, H for port 80, which is what HTTP um, transports on, to route it to this IP address internally. But you couldn't have port 80 mapped to two different internal IP addresses. The three network ranges that are for private use only is 10.0.0.0 with a slash 8 subnet, 172.16.0.0 with a slash 12 subnet, and 192.168.0.0 with a slash 16 subnet.